Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center here in the South San Juan zone, right below Snowden Peak, northwest aspect right at Treeline. We're finding just over a foot of some really stiff, firm wind slab sitting over some weaker near surface facets and a more cohesive slab below that. Here at the base, we have sort of a myriad of crust and just large grain facets that are persisting at the base of our snowpack. We did an extended column test here. Ooh. Took 30 taps for us to essentially break away this upper stiff slab. We did not get propagation in our test on these near surface facet layers. We removed this thick slab and in one additional tap we were able to get propagation all the way across in these just weak sugary facets found below snow from December and January. Right now this is really hard for a skier to impact through this stiff slab down to these weak layers but we've been talking about in the forecast about margins of slabs, thin areas of the slabs near rock outcroppings. So all it takes is for this slab to taper down and for either a skier, a cornice fall, or a new load to stress this upper slab fail in these near surface facets and potentially create a larger avalanche failing on these deeper weak grains. So 